Hello everyone, this is Donnie and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. I have an unboxing today and this is my last of the packages that came on December 4th and I kind of like doing this this way where I don't know where it is so I can kind of be surprised or be excited about it coming in or being here because I know you all know what it is because of the title, but uh, I have few, few surprises in my life. The box is pretty squished. If, as you can see there, it's been uh, manhandled a bit. The, the corners were opened, <clears throat> scuffed up a bit. And you can pull this out. Oh, it's an Oli painting, but I haven't ordered anything from Oli, so maybe we'll discover another company that is Oli produced. But yeah, this box is in. Uh, it has seen better days. I love their toolkits. They give you the, I'll pull this out. They didn't seal this one. Oh, they did and the sticky already wore off. Normally the sticky is really strong on these. All right, in case you haven't seen this toolkit before, they give you the round tray and they give you the white tray. I have a ton of these round trays now because, um, I had pre-ordered on the 11.11 sale a uh, kit. I got three round ones and three triangular ones. And then I, after I had done that, I had started receiving kits from Oli. And for every one that I get from them, I have a round tray. So I am swimming in them now. But there is a difference between these trays. This is a little harder plastic than some of these other ones. They're more rubbery. So, um, I don't know. The, some of these came bent, the three that I ordered, but the one from Oli is in perfect shape. This is one of the three as well, and it's not bent, but maybe. Anyway, there are levels to quality I guess on those and these are a hard plastic they're not the bendable kind they're pretty dirty though anyway um it comes with the white tray comes with this stick of wax comes with a nine placer and they come with two pins with three placers on them so that is the toolkit and I gotta stop shaking the table because it shakes my camera. Okay, this is wrapped in plastic. Oh, okay. Let me pull this up in my book. It should be really close to where I'm at right now. Oh, please, please. I am so tired of having to fish through here and try and find the picture. Yeah. Half the time you don't even see it because I edit it out because it takes me so long to find it. Uh, wish there was a method to my madness. Well, I guess I did order this from Oli directly. Uh, this one is one of the worst ones that I've received. Normally this comes and it's just rolled without creases, but because the box got smushed, there is a big dent in it, but they do supply their canvases in bags like this. And it's imprinted with some logo in Chinese, I'm guessing. And so it is protected against the elements if this was actually closed and sealed. Uh, yeah, they didn't even bother it because the protective paper is still on there for the stickiness and let's see 
here's the key for this. Oh, here, let me, let me give you the information real quick. Okay, so it was from an Oli official store. I paid $10.18 for a 40 by 40. And it was during the 11.11 sale. It wasn't one that I pre-ordered, but they shipped it the same day. And this is a full round. And I call this mermaid face. And that's what it looks like. It kind of looks a little creepy, like, you know, skeleton, skeletal-ish here, but she kind of looks like a mermaid in a way. I mean, she's got the seahorses and then like the scaly neck and in her hair. I just, I, I thought it was beautiful. So that's why I ordered it. And I had it in my cart for a while. And when I saw that it was on sale during the 11.11 sale, I went ahead and ordered it. So let's take a look at the canvas. Oh my gosh. Look at those. See, that's what I expect 820 to look like. In my last video I did, the 820s were a lot darker. And see, this is the 995. This is what 8, I don't know. I'm maybe going nuts. But I love how they line their bags up like this. Uh, normally they're kind of in somewhat of an order, but these may have gotten, these look like they got jostled around in shipment, so they're not in perfect order. But I do enjoy how they stack them. Now let's see if I'm going to enjoy this canvas. They do use this crown cover as well. And I have found that it's better quality sticky, or at least at least what I've seen um, they do a really good job from what I've seen as well with uh, not overlapping these so far this one I don't know how this is gonna look because just tucking it under so we can kind of flatten it it's kind of got some debris on it all right let's see this is all Kind of straighten out. It was all wrinkled and crinkled from the trip here. Oh, so so they shipped it uh, November 11th, and I received it December 4th. So that's um, 23 days. So. 40 colors, right, okay. I didn't say that yet, but you guys probably saw that. Ooh, I love, I love how this adhesive looks and it comes off so easy. My beaming program is giving me problems, so it's gonna cut me off any second now. The good thing about it though is with my new computer, it reloads a lot faster, so it's almost as if I just took a tiny little break, like 15 seconds. Eh. Trying to see what it did to it. It's wrinkled the canvas. Uh, it, there's n nothing's bubbled or anything, but it's wrinkled the canvas a lot from or the glue, I should say, from the box getting damaged. But look how pretty, I mean, the glue, I don't know, you can see, look at the shine on that glue. That is just what it, it looks like when there's no wrinkles or rivers. There's wrinkles, but those are the whole canvas wrinkle, not just glue wrinkle. Yeah, let's get this whole thing off here so we can kind of look at it. Let's turn it this way since that's the what it the way it looks like. So the, yeah, yeah, as you can see, there's three strips here. They did not overlap the strips, but uh, it yeah, it looks good. There is no bubbles. There are no bubbles or rivers. It looks really pretty. I mean, look how big that is. You can, you can really see the detail in her face. I didn't think it needed to be too big. So, 
so all the most of the detail is going to be over here on this other side but this is just the face itself and i think it will it will turn it will look true to the the photo but here's the thumbnail and then here's the drill field they've got the training wheels on them and they are black so they look small enough to where they're not going to be seen through what I'm curious about though is right there oh it's because it's a black color the backgrounds black that's why it's you can't see the training wheels around it mm, some of them are white like X has a white ring around it and D I think they must looks like they, they did that on the they do that on the colors that have um where the letter itself is light colored so if the the letter is in white they put a white ring around it and if the letter is in black they're putting a black ring around it and of course the plus symbols have a let's see i can see better if i do it up here uh, yep looks like they have a black ring around it because you can't see the ring but this drill field is very clear you can read those symbols very well and they don't have too many uh, weird symbols they have some here's the key there's letters symbols nothing off the wall except for that book symbol I don't know what it it if it's a Roman numeral three or if it's supposed to be a book of some sort uh, looks kind of like a Roman numeral three number 15 and my arms are killing me <laughs> okay so look Y and T kind of look alike and they're almost the same color here we go so as long as you pay attention you should be okay or I should be okay but the canvas right there where the glue is it kind of is wrinkled to the point where it almost looks like it's coming up but I'll just press it down and hopefully it won't all right let's look at the other uh, portion that I didn't uncover yet with all that detail and for those of you who haven't seen me unbox an Oli canvas before these kind of have more of a waxy feel to them I didn't get it covered all the way maybe it's this one ah come on oh, my fingers aren't working Probably because I'm so cold. All right. There we go. All right. Yeah, I can really feel the wax when I'm laying this down. It's a thicker um, paper too. This is 45 by 45. I ordered 40 by 40. After I flatten it, I'm gonna measure it with a measuring tape and I'm guessing it's 45 by 45 for the entire canvas. And that the um, drilling area is 40 by 40. Cause that was my mistake with oneself. I was thinking he was selling a 40 by 40 and sending you a 40 by 40 canvas and only giving you a 35 by 35 uh, drilling area. That was my misunderstanding. Okay, I'm trying to pull all three of them back here. See, it's not really hard pulling them back either like it is on the others. So it's this paper, it's just got its own special features to it, I think, this adhesive. But this is the only company I've seen that uses it, the crown paper. Okay, so this side looks good. Um, 
there's the starfish or the seahorses I mean there's um where's that picture okay so there's one near her eye so that's one right there and then the other one's right here so I think this will show the detail really well but the colors I can't wait to look at those colors because they were are really pretty in this picture I just want to touch it it's so pretty but it's I don't want to mess it up. So let's cover this up and then look at those drills. Oh. And I'll meet you at the drills. I'm going to just finish covering this up. All right, here we go. That's so pretty. There's no inventory. I always do that too. I take the canvas away, but I remember that there's 40. So we'll just uh, lay them all out, make sure all 40 are here. And go from there. I'm gonna have to use a one of these cards to file it with. Uh, oh, I love touching them. They're just the bags. I love just holding bags of drills like this. The, I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. All right. So some of the colors here. These bags, they also have on here the information they've got uh 45 by 45 oh i was gonna measure it let me grab it and i think that's the canvas number ll276 ll276-3 and then it says hb 45 by 45 there's a 40 at the beginning oh 40 colors LL276-3 HB hmm don't know what HB means but let's measure it real quick okay we got um close to 39 almost 39 and this one is exactly 39 well uh, yeah slightly under 39 so it's about 39 by 39 so it's one centimeter off for the 40 by 40. All right, but we will go ahead and keep this out so that we can compare the numbers with the colors to make sure. And I'll show you some of these and then I will uh, go ahead and count them up. This is that coral color. Look how pretty that is. And the camera, it does not show how pretty this really is because it, it's not giving the brightness. And we got this, like I say, I'm not a green fan, but that's a pretty green. My blues, that's $9.95 and then $8.20. They're nice colors with their own, for their own reasons and their own spectrum of blue. I like them both. And then uh, here we got, well, that's a kind of a dark purple, almost purple blue violet. It looks blue in the camera, but it's kind of got a purple tint to it. And then we've got 208. Um, we've got this mauve color. And do we have 3746? purple man the my purples are showing up blue for some reason 
Uh, let's see, do I have any more purples in here? We have a navy blue here. That's 824. And these kind of just remind me of... Uh, uh, I can't think of it, the color, but this is like a mulberry kind of. And this must be 939. Three tens. There's very little. Very little 310 in this. And here's some more blues. This is more of a teal color. Really pretty. So this is this is full of some pretty colors. Uh, there are the browns because of her face and hair. So there's quite a few browns. Look at these. And this is like this 978. I'm guessing that is skin color. Eight and that will be skin. I'm guessing these are all skin colors. This pink 819 is normally what you find on for skin. It's like a muddy white. Here's another skin tone. So lots of browns. Look at these. This is like a, oh, poo poo brown. Green, greenish brown there more browns lots and lots of brown wow huh i guess that's her hair it will be for her hair and part of her face even though her face is painted so all right i will be back with you in a minute oh here there's another teal dark teal and i will double check that everything matches up to what is on here. So I'll be right back to 150. All right, all numbers are here and they match up <clears throat> to the color that is on the chart here. So I really like this company. Um, and the price wasn't bad. I mean, it was it was during the sale, but ten dollars for this is pretty good in my book. So let's uh, go over our scoring guide. One point, uh, two points for canvas condition. Yes, it got the two points. Uh, what happened in the mail uh, could have been avoided had they um, had something more substantial holding the canvas together. Um, I guess, I don't know, it, this damage here, this creasing happened because the box got squished. And that is a, a, male, a male issue. Um, and just because they didn't put a foam roller in there, I mean, I prefer when they put the drills in in the middle to hold the form but that doesn't there aren't always enough drills to keep the form so in that case I would want um, some kind of a foam roller just to keep it not wrapped around but just to, to have some kind of form in case it does get squished I mean that you know trying to find the perfect way to mail um, a flat item into a square box you know is you know uh trial and error but they will get the two points for the canvas condition because it was beautiful um one point for the clarity of symbols yes it does get that uh two points for the drill inventory it does get that it do they do have dmc codes on them as well so they will keep their full two points three points for everything being included canvas drills and tools they get those three points, one point for outside packaging and one point for how the contents were packaged. Um, only because it, it got damaged and it, it got damaged from the fact of how it was packaged on the inside. I am going to take half a point off for uh, how the contents were packaged. So it will get half a point for that. So the total score for this um, canvas will be nine and a half out of 10 which is still a really good score. And <clears throat> I, you know, like I said, I really like this company. I, 
can't wait to be able to start one of the diamond paintings that I've ordered from them because I really everything that I see in the first impression is good and I'd like to see if um to follow through all the way to the end to see how their the drill quality is and to see how well the stickiness works and every time I've gotten these um 90% of the adhesive has always gone from border to border and there's like little to no overhang and same with this one there is it goes from the top here it's it stops right on the edge on the side it stops at the edge the paper may come over a little bit actually it doesn't it goes right to the edge and on this side here it hangs over like a millimeter just on this side on these sides they are all the way up to the edge it's and at the bottom as well as you can see it it comes straight to the edge so I don't know if that's something you care about but I I like the fact that there's no extra sticky no need for putting washi tape around one like this but some people like to put the washi tape around the canvas and but anyway one way or the other there is no sticky hanging over on these all right so I'm going to get you a question of the day. Let's see. Okay, this is a pretty simple one. If you could have an endless supply of any food, what would you get? And as long as it didn't add calories, <laughs> if it was like free calorie food, I would say cookies and cream ice cream. Mmm. We just ran out because we had it for Tesla's birthday party and not bad. It lasted uh, five days past her party. So that is my choice. It's a very simple question. So I have no other explanation I need to say about that because that's pretty self-explanatory. Cookies and cream ice cream. So what is, um, what one food would you have if you could have an endless supply of it? Let me know down below in the comment section down here. Yeah. Right down there somewhere. On your way down, don't forget to hit that like button. And I'll see you in my next video. Have fun diamond painting and don't forget to sparkle wherever you go. And whatever you do, bye.